Drug and alcohol addiction, it can affect those from all walks of life, men, women, teens, rich, poor, and everyone in between. Today, we continue our very special mini-series, Reclaim Your Life, Relearn to Relive, in a way you've never lived before. With the holidays here, it's an especially difficult time for those with addiction. Dr. Maureen Esposito, Executive Vice President of Clinical Services at Transformations Treatment Center, is back to help us understand that holiday dynamic. Good morning. Very nice to be back. I'm so glad you're here. Doctor, before we talk about addiction and the holidays, I'd like to at least talk first about what the holidays mean to me and what it really should mean about sharing that with your children, passing along those memories. We go to Disney World every December and, and I really hope those memories live on through my children. I think the holidays are a particularly difficult time of year for the alcoholic and addict. There's general stress, people are shopping more, they're preparing holidays, they're waiting for relatives to come in. And we are the builders of memories for our children. And just as you like to set the stage, take them to um, Disney World, those memories will be lasting. So when we look at addiction, many times addiction brings a lot of bad memories. Mm -hmm. And as mothers, as women, as fathers, we're creating memories for our children that we want to be positive. If they have negative memories because of an addiction destroying the family or interfering with the happiness of the family, this leaves a long and lasting, unfortunate, unhappy memory. And for someone who is unfortunately fighting an addiction and the holidays are here, what are some of the coping mechanisms you teach at the Transformation Treatment Center? When our clients come into treatment, again, we present a very positive attitude. They're coming in very dejected, maybe feeling guilty, very, very shameful and upset. And again, we present a facility that will treat them very individually and understand what they're really going through. There's no shame, there's no blame. We invite them to come and be who they are. Many times they've had very difficult lives and this is the place to really rest and to really learn about addiction and learn about how to have a happy life. Exactly, and I actually saw that at the Transformation Treatment mm -hmm. Center when we visited it and, and I thank you so much for allowing us to go in there. We also had the honor of speaking with a few of your clients who, who opened up and shared their addiction and what they're going through. I'd like our viewers to Great. see that. Can we do Great. that? Mm -hmm. Let's take a listen. Never really had good holidays. Those were usually the worst times. Um, I'm sure a lot of people my age can relate to this, that they would really wait for the money to come from their family so they could run out the door and use. When holidays passed, it was all about, you know, getting intoxicated and eating a lot of food. My first holiday sober was at seven months clean. I got to spend time with my family and I got to actually be there. I got to be sober. I, I was able to remember the holidays, which was really nice, so. And now, you know, I really enjoy the holidays. I, you know, I'm able to be present. I'm able to be there with my family. Where when I was physically there in the past, I wasn't really, wasn't really there. So it can be difficult early on, but it, they're much better now. Compelling stories from people who are really trying to get back on track. Uh, would you say the holidays are the busiest time for you? We see a lot of people coming in at the end of the year mm -hmm. looking to change their lives. And so when you see our clients that have come through the facility, as a clinician, it's one of the most wonderful things to see. We see people coming in very upset, depressed, angry, lonely, having destroyed relationships. And through the treatment, they really learn to love themselves again. So there's a lot of forgiveness going on. And so the result for a clinician is, is wonderful to see because they're happy. And it's important also that they feel that support because they're lacking that support, I would assume, where they are and where they've been. Well, many of the clients may have support, but they don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. They've alienated their family members. They may be isolating and getting into trouble. Mm -hmm. So when they come into transformations, not only will they have the support of a very loving, nurturing staff, but we include the families so that the family repair work needs to be done. And many times we're able to help those people rekindle their relationships and start again. And how do you approach, let's say, someone who comes in with a drug addiction as opposed to someone that comes in with an alcohol addiction? Well, we treat everyone individually. And most people come in thinking, I'm not a heroin addict, I just drink. But the results are usually the same. And the results really will be alienation from family members, maybe loss of a job, maybe a divorce, uh, maybe medical problems. You know, alcohol can give you liver problems. A heroin can certainly wreak havoc with your health. Sure. So we have the principles of recovery and everyone learns that, but everyone is very, very individual. For anybody out there that may be struggling, who, who doesn't feel that support or is ashamed, what message of hope would you give them today? 
when they decide to make that first step, which is the most difficult step, to Absolutely. A, recognize that there is a problem, they can sort of relax a little bit and know that the support is all around them. They can really make amends down the road a piece with their family members and really begin a new life. So the message of hope, especially at this most important holiday season for everyone, is that there is hope there, people can change, and recovery is possible. And where can they go for more information? They can certainly go to our website, transformationstreatment.org, and they'll be able to get a lot of information about all the programs that we have. God bless you. Thank you for Thank everything you, so you do and everybody at the Thank Transformation you. Treatment Center. And if you want to learn more, log on to our website. It's thebalancingact.com. That's thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.